This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, now have you ever come across an SQL problem that at the first glance it looked very complex and very intimidating but later on when you found the solution to the problem you realize it was such a basic SQL problem. Now in this video I'm going to be taking up one such SQL problem and I'm going to be taking it from lead code. Now straight away let's look at the problem and try to solve it. So as you can see I have just copied the problem statement from lead code into a word document and I will leave the link to the original lead code problem in the video description. Okay. Now here the problem has been marked as medium but once you see my solution you would probably argue that this problem could basically have been an easy difficulty problem. Okay. But anyways let's read the problem statement. So we have been given a table by the name tree. It has two columns id and pid. id is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains information about the ID of a node and the ID of its parent node in a tree. Okay, so the given structure is always a valid tree. So here ID is the ID of a node and PID is the parent ID of the node. Okay, and basically when they say node, this is what they mean and they are telling each node in the tree can be any one of the three types. Okay, so they can any of these nodes can either be a leaf node, root node or inner node. And they are saying leaf if the node is a leaf node, root if the node is the root of the tree and if a node is neither leaf node nor root node then it is an inner node. So in this diagram that is given here, which is the leaf node, root node and inner node? So the very first node, this one, the number one is basically the root node because it does not have any parent node. So this itself is kind of like the master node or the parent node. Okay. And then three, five and four are the leaf node because they have parent nodes, but they do not have any child node, right? Three, four and five. And the two is basically the inner node because two has a parent node that is one and two also has two child nodes that is four and five. So two basically falls inner. So that is why it's called as an inner node. Now what we are asked to do is we need to write an SQL query to report the type of each node in a tree. Return the result table ordered by ID in ascending order. The query result format is of the following example is in the following example. Now let's try to better understand this with the given example. So basically they have given some input table. So there is uh, five records. The ID is one, two, three and four and five. As you can see here, these five nodes. Okay. One has parent ID as null because it's a root node. So its parent ID will always be null. Okay. And then two is basically this node. Its parent ID is one as you can see here. And then comes three. Three parent ID is one as you can see here. And then four and five its parent ID is 2. Basically this example here represents this diagram that is given here. Okay. Now we need to write a query that is going to scan this input table and then it's going to return this output. That is it's going to tell each of this node which of this node is basically a root node, a inner node and a leaf node. So I hope this is clear. Now along with this example they have also given us a second example. So whatever query we write it should not only work for that particular example it should also work for this example where there is just one record in the table that is the root node. If only root node is present then also the query should work. Now before I can continue let's talk about the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online learning community where basically you can learn any skill that you can think of. Now personally I have learned few different skills on Skillshare. I have definitely improved my skills about video editing, productivity, uh, photography etc. Now personally one of the classes that I would highly recommend on Skillshare is the Notion master class conducted by Ali Abdul. Now Notion is a fantastic tool I use it every single day not only to manage my professional career but also to manage my day-to-day -day activities in my normal life. But the tricky part with Notion is that there is a slight learning curve. There is a lot of features and functionalities that Notion offers and if you're getting started it might be a little tricky to know exactly how to manage a Notion or how to effectively use Notion and this is where the Notion masterclass conducted by Ali Abdul on Skillshare definitely helped me. In his class he starts from absolute to basic by talking about how to set up Notion. He then talks about all the basic features like pages and blogs and he then talks about all the intermediate and advanced concepts like how to set up database in Notion, uh, about different templates in Notion and so much more. Now similar to Notion, if there are any other skills that you would like to learn then definitely check out a Skillshare. I'll leave the link to their platform in the video description. Now remember the first 1000 people who will be using my link will get one month of free access to Skillshare. So definitely check that out. Now let's get back into our video. Now let's write a generic query which is going to work for any type of data. 
okay so i have basically copied the data of that given input examples into two different tables so let's try to first solve it using this first example that is we have one two three four five nodes and this information about the parent node is mentioned here okay now what we need to do is we have this id and parent id columns okay parent node id columns and we need to return two columns right our output needs to have two columns okay if i just show it clearly here and you can see that one is root and we can very easily identify root node just by seeing if the parent node is null okay if there is any node that does not have a parent node then straight away we can tell that it is a root node and how do we identify that it will have its pid as null right so in my output i need to display the id column and i need to display the type column so straight away let me write my query so i'm just going to say select from tree and the first column that i want to display is id right and the second column that i want to display is the type column so what type of node each of this uh, id is right so i can easily tell if the pid is null then straight away it's a root node so in order to put this kind of a condition what i can do is i can just use a case statement so i can just tell case when p underscore id is null then it should be displayed as root okay and here if i end my case and i'll say this one is my type column okay let me just execute this it is root node now just for better clarity i'll also have the pid column displayed here okay so that we see how our query is going to evolve with each uh, of these different nodes so we have basically done the first part of our query that is just by putting this simple condition we are able to identify which is a root node okay now comes the tricky part how do you identify the inner node okay now i know in this table two is the inner node why because if I go into my example, 2 is the only node which has both parent node as well as it has child node, right? So I basically need to write another case statement. Basically, I'll use the same case statement because we want all the result in the same column, right? I just need to put a condition such that I handle both the scenarios. That is, I only need to display here as inner node only for those nodes whose parent node is not null, right? That is my very first condition because two's parent node is not null right if it is null it will be a root right so i can just tell p underscore id is not null okay this is my first condition and additionally i also want to check that whatever id is present here this id should be a parent to some other node right so this two should have a parent id and it should also be a parent to some other node okay how do i know if it is a parent to some other node is this two should be present in my pid column okay whatever is present in my pid column that means it is a parent node right so in order to check if this two is or this id is present in my parent id column i can put a condition here saying that and id in i need to basically dis or uh, mention all the parent ids here right how do i display all the parent ids i can just write a query here saying that select a distinct p underscore id from tree right when i run this this will basically return me all the parent ids one and two okay and this two will be part of this list and hopefully both these conditions will satisfy and then i can display this as my inner uh, node right so i have found the root node and i have found the inner node and everything else right is there if there is any other node that is neither root nor inner then by default it will be the leaf node right so i can just put it in the else part here okay now if i run this now you can see that i have basically solved the problem pretty easily so one is my root node two is my inner node three four and five are my leaf node okay if i go back to the output you can see i'm getting basically the same output okay now here i didn't want to display the pid so if i remove that column and if i run this you can see that i have basically got the correct output okay so as you can see the problem statement looked a uh, pretty tricky at first but once you understood what you needed to do the solution is very simple right i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give me a like on this video and if you have not subscribed yet definitely subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one bye